It's been an eventful offseason already for Jacksonville State rising senior guard Ty Hudson. He's spent some time out of the country uh, getting some playing time in as the guys get ready for the upcoming new season for Jacksonville State basketball. You're doing something, I guess, Christian Cunningham had made a trip and then Malcolm Drum right before that. So first trip uh, for you to go out of the country like that? Yes, sir. First time, I mean, besides going to Cancun this past summer, yeah, my first time out of the country. And you were the only guy from Jacksonville State, so uh, on your own, so to speak, I guess. Yep, yep. There was a, most of the guys came by themselves, so we were all in the same boat trying to um, jail with each other and interact and things like that. All right, you went with Sports Reach USA and go to China. What part of China were you in? What part of China didn't we go to? <laughs> we, went to like, we went to like seven different prov- provinces. We went to um, – we were in Beijing – Kuang Jing or something. It was, it was a couple of different places, but yeah, I don't remember all of them. <laughs> you and the team that you were playing with, uh, you're playing what? I guess some some Chinese national teams. Is that who your competition was? We um, we were supposed to play the Chinese team, but we ended up playing Spain in four different places. So like we would play Spain in Beijing, and then we would travel to another place, and then we play them there. So we played the same team four different times, but it was still. It was pretty good. China, I mean, Spanish pros, they were all pros. So four games, was that what you played during that time you were there, just the four? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Did you guys jail pretty quickly after you got playing and practicing together? Um, at, at first it was – everybody was quiet. You know how it is. And then uh, we started having a Kobe Bryant, um, LeBron James argument. And <laughs> honestly, no, honestly, that's really what jailed everyone and got everyone to communicate more with each other on the bus traveling. So that's what did it. What was China like? Much different than it's, – it's, it's huge. That's probably the biggest thing I can say. It's so spaced out. Two-hour flights turned into five-hour flights. It's, it, was, it was much different. Well, now, you've been through quite a bit in your lifetime. Louisiana, Katrina, you had uh, – Katrina pushed you out of Louisiana to Atlanta, to, to Clemson before you came here. So – you were experienced, I guess, with, with some of that stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it. With the traveling and things like that and getting used to new places. It was tough, though. I got sick. I was sick for like three days. Food? Um, I survived off of rice, watermelon, and um, some noodles here and there. And that was about it. <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> McChicken. <laughs> 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 So uh, no steak or anything like that while you were in China, right? Um, we we stayed at a five star one time, so I did have steak a few times. <laughs> but yeah, mostly make chickens. What was the, what did you come away from the trip? What was the biggest thing for you? Um, probably just the experience and being in a new place, interacting with new people. Like some of the places we went to, the people had never seen Americans before, so they were like pulling out their phones and taking pictures of us. They thought we were superstars, but that was probably the most intriguing part about it. Did you do any camps for young kids or anything like that? Um, we didn't do any camps, but we visited two different high schools in, um, in China, and we interacted with kids there. That was pretty fun, too. Just We were playing not even basketball. Some of the kids we were playing soccer with. It was cool. It was, uh, it was tough. Language barrier get you at any point in time? Yeah, I only learned about three words. Um, <laughs> ni hao is hello, and she she is thank you. That's about all I really – besides those two things, I didn't say anything else. But most of the people um, spoke English a little bit. If not, if it wasn't too good, it was – they had a little experience with it. So. so you get back from that trip and no rest for the weary, as the old saying goes. Just jump right back into off-season workouts to get ready for the upcoming season, correct? Yes, sir. I um, got off a plane and came right back to campus start working and it's your senior year so i guess you're excited about that too right? yep, i'm excited and nervous and everything else that comes with it are you guys will work out uh, throughout the summer and and then when classes uh, when you get back for the fall it'll be full speed ahead i guess from that point correct yes sir we um we're still waiting on a few guys to get here so when we get back in the fall yeah it'll be it'll be time to go Good luck. Off season. Have fun. Thank you very much. Ty Hudson making a trip to China here representing Jacksonville State during the offseason, getting ready for the upcoming 2019-2020 basketball season for Jacksonville State.